So when you're deciding what poke to do, those are the three different options you're going to be using. Hi, I'm SoCal Honey Badger, and that was my intro. Uh, somebody was asking in Discord how that works, so let me set this guy. Duck. Okay, so, someone was asking how pokes work. And I'm going to explain that and the difference between the different pokes. So generally speaking, every character has about three pokes. You got your down one, your down three, your down four, down two is your usually an uppercut. Nobody considers this a poke, right? Um, so what you want to use a poke for when you're in here, you use your down one or your down three. Those are used for frame advantage specifically and jailing and low profiling, right? So your fastest moves are usually gonna be your standing jab, right? So you look at the standing jab as eight frames startup and the down poke is seven frames startup or down one. So the reason why you use them to low profile is if you're ducking, high moves whiff, right? So as he's jabbing, I'm gonna duck under his jab and get a down jab myself. Now the other key of down jabs, again, is like I said, to low profile, but also if you look, it says hit advantage 11 frames, right? So that means when I hit him, he's stuck in an animation for 11 frames and I can lock him into that animation and it forces a standing situation for my opponent so that way I can jail them into like a standing jab myself and they can't duck it. So as you can see here, Sub-Zero is set to duck, right? So if I jab, it's gonna miss. But if I hit a down jab and I time it right, hit a down jab and time it right, he can't duck it, right? So this is how you force them to take your jab. If I do this, he's just going to down jab me. This is why it's important for characters to have fast mids, right? Because if he's ducking, I can just do a fast mid. But if he's ducking my jabs, I hit a down one and I can go into my jab if I don't screw it up, right? If I don't screw it up. See that? See how he's locked in that, that animation? So that's what you want to use your pokes for, is to force them to stand so you can land your fast highs. Now, there's a difference between the three pokes. Like I said before, we have down one, which is like a down punch, down three, which is a down kick, and down four, which is another down kick. They have different properties and different um, advantages and disadvantages. So if we look in the uh, frame data, down one starts up in seven frames, it's a mid and gives me plus 11. Down three, Starts up at the same time, seven frames. It's a low, but it only gives me 10 frames of frame advantage. That's important, right? Limits what you can jail into. So, for example, standing two starts up in eight frames. Standing, well, his, Kung Lao's a bad example because his, his two uh, jab strings start up, have the same start. But sometimes you're standing one and you're standing two have different speeds, and one is faster than the other, and it's easier to jail one than the other with more frame advantage. But the main kicker between the down one and the down three is that down ones are usually mids, not always, but usually, and down threes are usually lows. Not always, but usually. Uh, the difference in that is how you can block. So if you do a down one and he's stand blocking or crouch blocking, it'll go through. If I do a down three, he has to crouch block it. I can hit down three and jail him, and he's got a crouch block there. Now, usually, down threes do less damage, but they have a little bit better range, and they're low. So those are the different the differences between the down one and the down three, right? The down one, sometimes faster, less range, but more damage. Down three, sometimes slower, more range, but less damage. In the case of Kung Lao, his is the down one has less range, more damage. They both start up the same. So down three has more range. It's the same speed as the down one, but they give you one frame less 
of uh, frame advantage. So that could uh, change up the kind of setups you're going to go for with your jailing. The last poke is your down four, which is that, right? Down fours are usually much slower, but they have much more range. So if we look at down four, starts up in 11 frames, right? This is seven. The down three and the down one are seven. This is 11 frames. Very, very much noticeably slower. But the hit advantage is 14 frames, and the range is noticeably further, right? So if I start, that's going to whiff, right? I can take a step forward, right? So I take a little step forward, that whiffs, okay? Take a step forward, that hits. I had to take two steps forward to get the down three to hit. I only took one to get the down four. Also, down fours usually do a little bit more damage. Ah, uh, so that has three damage. This is one damage. So down fours have a little bit more damage, a lot more range. They're slower, but they usually give you more hit advantage, right? So you can do something like a down four, and now I have enough frame advantage, right? Because he's walking backwards. You can't really jail with them, but what they do is they allow you to move into position. Or if you're a more long range character, you can move out of position, right? So if I'm like a zoner, I can hit my down four at the very tip and then I can go back to zoning. I can take a back dash and go back to zoning. Or if I'm a close range character, I can down four and then I dash in. So you see, I'm already closer before he regains control because Sub-Zero is gonna immediately duck as soon as he has control of his character, right? So if I hit the down four, I'm already in his face, ready to hit my, uh, you know, my buttons before he can control his character. So when you're deciding what poke to do, those are the three different options you're gonna be using and you're going to want to alternate between the three different bit based on the very di different ah based on the different varying situations um there are other uses for the down threes and the down fours for example uh some characters have good anti-airs off of their down three and down four like frost katana terminator uh they could hit a down three as an anti-air kung lao is not a good example i mean you could use his down one for uh for an anti-air Right, jump forward. Timing is a little wonky, but he can down, down one anti-air for full combo. So like that's one use of your uh, pokes. That's one other use of the pokes, and you can also use your pokes uh, for combo extensions. That's another usage of pokes. Uh, sometimes because they're so fast, you can use them to sneak in an extra hit in a combo. Uh, specifically, like in the corner. Um, you can use them there, but for the most part, your pokes are generally going to be used for in the close range to stop your opponent from abusing their fast highs, to gain frame advantage, to lock them into an animation so you can use your fast high. All right, that's, that's the explanation of pokes. Um, this will be posted on YouTube. Uh, prefer hopefully later tonight after the stream is over or maybe tomorrow morning before the next stream. Um, but do note that if you guys have any other questions, make sure you're posting them in the discord and, um, I can cover them before getting started with the stream in proper every day. And if you're watching this on YouTube, most of you guys, I get you tons of views on YouTube and none of you assholes subscribe. So make sure you assholes are subscribing and liking the video. It keeps me encouraged and motivated to make more of these. Um, anyways, that's going to be our bit on pokes. Let me catch up with chat. You fucker, is Baraka's down three better or worse than his down one? Depends. What's up, Wise and Ho? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Trash Talk Temple. <laughs> For example, Baraka's down one can be used in a com easier combo. What's up, Juice? What's up, Ms. Bree? Yeah, I mean, using down ones and down threes in combos, it's it's very situational as to which one you want to use. There's not there's not necessarily a preference. Like if you look at like my uh, corner combo, I do. I need to make him stop jumping. Stop it! Stop it! Just stand there, All right? So you look at my normal combo combo, and I can use the down three. I use the down three, I get 339. I go for the down one, right? Hold on, 339. Ah. Hold on, the re there's, I'm gonna explain something, and that's... So 
for 343, right? What is that? 39, 40, 1, 2, 3. I lose 4 damage using the down 3 instead of the down 4. But the reason why I use down 3 instead of... Or not down 4, down 1. The reason why I use the down 3 in that combo instead of down 1 is because I've been more consistent. Because I can... Because the down 3 is lower to the ground, I can hit it a little bit later and it'll still work. The down 1 will whiff if I don't time it, like, perfectly. And it's like, well, I can, I can give myself that leeway in timing to get it to hit and lose four damage. I'd rather sacrifice the four damage, which is negligible, in order to have a more consistent combo. Because when you drop the combo, you're losing a lot more than four damage. Um, so when it comes to like your pokes in your combos, it doesn't really matter if you're using pokes as a combo extender. Um, because if you're using it for a combo extender, use whichever one gives you more consistent results. I mean, granted, I could practice the down one more, um, but with the nature of, of most of my gameplay being online, I'm, but my focus being preparing for offline, I'm trying to mitigate any kind of issues that I would have in either direction. Something I, When I'm trying to build my combos, I'm looking for something that will work consistently online and offline, so I don't have to make too many adjustments when switching between the two. Um, so it, whatever poke you want to use for whatever reason is going to be valid. There's no difference or it, you know, it doesn't matter. Hey, so if you, uh, follow YouTube enough, you know that they like to put weird stuff all over the screen for the last 30 seconds. So this is going to fill that space. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably right there and there, all over the place right now. Hmm. Go ahead and click that stuff if you want. Uh. Uh. And that's 30 seconds. <laughs>